Well, circles now out. It wasn't all over Australia. You get up to the Northern Territory around Arnhem Land, they use the cross hatching and uh, like little diamond patterns. But you get down to Central Australia, you see a lot of circles within the artwork. But right down to Tasmania, the petroglyphs, they'll have circles carved in on the rocks. So circles were very important within the art form. What it represent with the circles, it could represent campsite, fireplace, waterhole, sacred area, initiation, circumcision, many things. And while we use the circle, Europeans measure time in a line, linearly, years, months, weeks, days, minutes, seconds. Our culture measured time circular, never ending. The dreaming, as we call it, is not when you're sleeping. The dreaming is our story of creation. We have a story of the beginning. So the dreaming is the beginning, now, and the future, a continuation. So that dreaming was setting the law, and that law was important to follow through. So it's never ending. So that circle becomes never ending within that structure. The other thing we have, um, the dreaming also helps us to understand by the law that was set, how to care for the earth and the mother. Because if you look after the earth and protect her, she will look after you. You destroy the mother, you destroy yourself. So within that law of the dreaming, we learned how to care for the earth, how to hunt uh, the animals, the fish, the birds, the plant life. Everything had a meaning and everything was in its season. So you learnt that structure from the law, from the dreaming, and that followed through on that circular pattern of knowledge and wisdom.